Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenna and this video is honestly I'm very excited to film because it's my first request that was made by one of my viewers. I got this request by Isabella, so thank you girl, I really appreciate it. And the request is, can you do a pro and cons uh, video of Stonehill College? That is a college I am attending. I'm going to be a sophomore this fall, so that's crazy. I So I basically completed my first year at Stonehill and yeah it was pretty good so further ado let's start so if you aren't aware i do have a stonehill dorm tour and move out i just uh i posted that i think two weeks ago um but yeah if you want to kind of have an idea of what the dorms are like you can definitely check that video out we're gonna start with the pros, of course. So there's a lot of pros of going to Stonehill, and this is honestly me generally saying that because I generally do love my college and just everything about it. Um, but I did narrow down the list, so these are the pros that I personally would say. So the first one is community. So I think community is a very big part of college because you're living with so many people if you live on campus. And even if you're a commuter, you're still surrounding yourself with all these people that you pretty much just met your freshman year. So it's very important to just kind of see what the vibe is like and the atmosphere of the people because there are certain types of people that go to certain types of colleges for different types of reasons. There's just a very great community at Stonehill. Everyone is accepting and just open-minded and it's just it's cares for everyone like we all generally care for one another I've really not met one person at Stonehill that has like that's mean or like rude really because Stonehill is a very great community and you'll definitely feel that when you go to Stonehill. It's very important to have that support. It's just really great to see. The second one is staff. This kind of goes along with community, but of course having professors that generally care for you and want you to do well in their courses goes a long way. We have course evaluations at the end of our courses, so if there's something you didn't like about a professor or a course, they're going to hear about it and hopefully address it and change it. So that's important. And and they have a lot of office hours that are very open to meeting with you if you have any sort of concerns and problems. So I think if you find that like like one or two people, like professors, you're going to find that like where you can like generally connect with someone because it's just different when you go to college because it's not just like high school teachers that you can't talk to out of class. Like the professors are there to help you. I just think that's very important. So that's that. I'm gonna say the third one would be the CDC which stands for um, the Career Development Center. That's a pro just because there are a lot of different things that they do for you and this definitely progresses with after college. Stone has a very high percentage of students who get employed after college. I can't really recall off the top of my head but I'm pretty sure it has to be either between 80 or 90 percent. So as you can see it has a 94 percent placement rate for the class of 2018. I found this on the Stonehill website. I do have to correct myself this is a 94 percent placement rate which includes being employed in graduate school or postgraduate service six months after graduating. So this isn't all full employment rates but it's still a very good percentage for the fact that the graduates are doing something beneficial whether it's going to graduate school or being employed a very high percentage of people that get employed and that's because we have such great networking and connections within stonehill and literally still go to the cdc for help after stonehill after you graduate which is also very important to note because then if you're looking for your next job or something, if the first one just wasn't what you were looking for, they still will connect with you, they still will help you and talk with you so that you could get the job that you want. The fourth one would be location. So I personally like Stonehill's location because it's in kind of a suburban type landscape. It's in a suburban place, but there's, there's places near Stonehill that are within walking distance. Literally, there's a Starbucks, that's a new drive through now, a Dunkin', the Bay Bagels, Daddy's Dairy, which is an ice cream place that you will literally love once you get there. If you know. And we have 
bamboo cafe just like a uh, stone bridge cafe it's like there's just a nice like two plazas that are literally within walking distance from stone hill it's really not that far there's also cvs that's also within walking distance so there are stuff that are just within walking distance which i think is nice because if you just kind of if it's a nice day out and you just want to like go out to eat somewhere else or just like go to starbucks like you literally can just walk there stone hill does have a shuttle service and this shuttle does go directly to the train station it also stops at the mall before shuttle goes to the quincy adams train station station which is a very nice thing to have because if you do want to go to Boston you just have to go on the shuttle you go onto the train station and then you just go into Boston so that's something that I think is a very good pro because if you like living in like a kind of like secluded suburban campus you will get that at Stonehill but if you want to go to Boston for uh, during the weekend or even like during a night you can really just go on the shuttle uh, go to the station and then get to Boston pretty easily. Also just in general, the campus is very beautiful. Like you would think even after being on it for a year, you would get sick of it, but like, I have not. Like I really do love Stonehill's campus. Fifth one would be the clubs and sports. So there's, I think over 80 plus club offerings. I, again, I'm gonna have to fact check that, but there's a lot of clubs at Stonehill and that's just very good because if you're involved in high school, you're gonna have no trouble being involved at college. And that's just because I was super involved uh, in clubs and stuff at high school. And then when I came to Stonehill, I was able to find more stuff that I was able to do. I was able to become a radio host for WSHL, which is our um, college's radio station, which is something I never thought I'd be able to say I do. I joined Hall Council, which is basically helps you put on events for your hall that you live in. I'm in dance club, a big club, but it's very chill. It's just I wanted to dance, uh, continue my dancing. A lot of different sports. We have intramural sports, we have club sports, and city sports. I think we're D2 or 3. I'm not really sure. I'm actually on the Frisbee team. I really met a lot of friends and got closer to people through that and I also was able to stay active. There's just so many different intramural sports so you can continue playing soccer, um, volleyball, I mean there's just a lot of different sports going on so if you want to be athletic or you want to try something new and join a club you can. Um, we also have a dance company, an Irish dance step company so there's just a lot of, a lot of things to do with yourself if you want to be athletic or creative and join a new club or just join a sports team this one but definitely not least because this is a very i think important selling point if you're thinking of going to stonehill or if you do go to stonehill it is the financial aid it gives out so much financial aid and they really want to help people go to stonehill and i think that's just very helpful. So now on to the cons. I'm really sorry I talked a lot about the pros, but uh, I really generally do love Stonehill and if you have any other questions that I didn't answer, definitely um, definitely DM me on Instagram because I know when I was looking into colleges and applying and thinking about where I wanted to go, I DM'd a lot of people that went to the colleges I was interested in and it definitely gave me real insight and genuine conversations with the student students that go there. So that just really helped me make my decision because um, there's just little questions that I just didn't have the answer to that they were able to help. So I definitely would not mind if you had any questions and wanted to DM me. Now with the cons. So the first one is definitely an issue and just lack of diversity at Stonehill. As much as Stonehill embraces and pushes diversity, it's something that definitely needs to be worked on because there is very there's not a lot of diversity within students or staff and they're aware of that it's not like they're being ignorant or not aware of that everyone has voiced their concerns with how there is a lack of diversity on campus Sona is trying to work on more diversity because they know it's an actual issue. Second thing is nothing to do on weekends. Weekends could get pretty boring depending on what you do. I don't really do homework on weekends. I pretty much just spend my time with my friends and people from my frisbee team and stuff like that. People I know go to Boston which is something that definitely you should do on the weekends because you can go to Boston and there's a lot of stuff to do at Boston but if you're not like someone that has a lot of homework and just don't know what to do with their time it could get a little repetitive and boring because um, Sonal does put on events that are on the weekends, but it doesn't happen every weekend. So the weekends that there's really nothing much happening kind of gets 
a little boring, but I personally never really got bored because I had people to hang out with and definitely on the night uh, hang out in the common room and just like order pizza from Domino's and just um, watch TV like there there are a lot of people that don't go out so I guess it's not something to be worried about but if you aren't going out it definitely could be a little bit boring hanging out in the common room every week weekend night so the next one this one isn't really too much of a con it just kind of depends on who you are i guess but um one hill is a walking campus so if you don't like to walk then it's gonna be a little bit of an issue because i lived in a res hall that was only really five minutes away from academic buildings but it still was a walk and i a lot of times would be late because i would not leave on time to get there it depends on where you live because if you live in other buildings you could be closer to academic buildings but regardless you have to walk wherever you go and also the res hall i was in um literally like close to a 10 minute walk to get to the dining hall, which is not fun, especially when you're hungry. Um, so I didn't really like that sometimes when I was just walking back to my dorm and stuff like that and it just was a lot of walking sometimes. You know, some campuses have buildings so close together that it's like less than two minutes to get to certain buildings, but at Stonehold it's very spread out campus, so it's just something to keep in mind. But you definitely get exercise. I mean, you get your steps in, which isn't a bad thing. But if you are a person like me who really likes to push the buttons and just wait last minute to walk to class, it's not fun speed walking from one location to the next. This one I'm definitely not happy about. It's the meal plan. Literally, so many people I've talked about the meal plan. No one likes the meal plan. And I'm not talking about the food, but it's just the actual meal plan because there's only one meal plan for everyone. Like there's no sort of um, different types of meal plans. And that's a big issue because if you're an athlete and we're even like a football player, not to be like a stereotypical person, but like, of course they're gonna eat more than like I'm going to eat. If you all are in one meal plan, people are going to run out of money, and it does happen. Again, it's a great thing that we have a great community at, at Stonehill because when I ran out, my friends basically would have helped me with my meal plan and just give me their card and I would just use it. So it's like great that that happens, but of course they need to really change the meal plan. And also we don't have swipes, which is also something I don't like. So basically everything is priced. And you would think that would be better because of course you don't want to use one swipe for a banana and then someone uses that same swipe for a whole meal. But I like the specialties section where there's like different types of pasta made because I love pasta and it's like with chicken and all these different types of stuff and just different types of sauces and everything like that. But it's literally like $7 for it. So of course I'm going to run out of my meal plan because I always get that for like lunch and, and dinner. So um, I would personally prefer if we had the swipe system because then I no one would probably run out so that's just something to keep in mind because literally um, when you're running out and you're like oh I can't afford a six dollar meal like you have to get something else and they do have other options like that are cheaper but they might not be better then last but not least we have residence halls a lot of our res halls are old I personally didn't have too many issues with my res hall even though mine was like an old res hall that I lived in too but just something to keep in mind because I know colleges have very new res halls and stuff like that. Stone Hill does have one very new one it's called New Hall and that one is just for seniors though but it's sweet living it's very nice but for like underclassmen there isn't very updated res halls so it's just something to keep in mind, um, but my cells don't have AC, which sucks. I lived in one that didn't have AC, so when I moved in, it was very hot, and everyone was complaining about it. Um, so you kind of have to get through that period, but there are some res halls that do have AC, so it just depends. I know some freshman ones have AC. The rooms might be small. It really depends on, I guess, your perspective. I kind of live in a small room, so when I went to college, anything basically was bigger than my room. Also with res halls, we do have one res hall, it's called the SEM, but actually called the Holy Cross Center. Um, SEM is very far away on campus. It's still on campus, but like it's far away from everything aside from the sports complex. So if you end up living in the SEM, it's just kind of difficult to go to classes because then you'd have to leave like 10-15 minutes early to get to classes. So you can't really change it because wherever you get placed as a freshman, you don't really have any input on. But 
basically the sam does have its own dining hall so if you wanted to eat food there like you didn't have to walk out but like because they had their own dining hall i didn't see people that i was friends with from the sam a lot because they ate at their own kind of dining common i'm definitely exaggerating it it's really not that far away but it's still like a distance away from like the hub of Stonehill. But yeah, that's it. I hope this just gave you more insight on what Stonehill offers and the pros and cons of it. Um, I hope I did a good job in explaining it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to make any other videos about Stonehill, I definitely would love to. Um, just be more specific because I uh, really like as specific as the request can get. And yeah, I hope you enjoy your day and I will see you on the flip side.